Hey there, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com, and today we're going over the top five mistakes you may be making when pouring latte art. So let's get started. All right, so beginning with number one, the first mistake you may make is not pouring from a great height with a thin stream. What we wanna aim for is that very thin stream from a greater height in the center of our vessel in order to create a nice even base. So we're going to try and pour directly into the center with that nice thin stream from this greater height, creating that nice even base like so. Notice how it didn't white out at all and we have a nice good surface in order to create latte art now. Our second mistake may be you could be steaming your milk too thick, too thin, too hot, or too cold. Any of these factors is going to contribute to a poorer version of latte art. So you wanna make sure you get the consistency of almost like a wet paint, like a very nice fluffy, not too bubbly, and also not too thin texture. Really, this is what we call microfoam and is a standard latte consistency. This is the best type of foam for creating latte art, especially when you're going in with very thin lines like for a rosetta or a tulip. So experiment steaming your milk a few different ways, and if it comes out bad, remember you can always tap on the counter to eliminate some of those bigger bubbles. The next major reason why our latte art may not be turning out exactly right is you're not going in at the right angle when pouring. It's really important to tip both your vessel and your pitcher so you can really get in as close to the espresso as possible, sometimes even touching the spout to your actual vessel. If you don't do this and you keep too far away, what's going to happen is your design may turn out very small or you may not get any design at all. And if you pour too close the entire time, you may white out your entire vessel. The next important part is when you are finished steaming to tap out your big bubbles and keep your milk swirling in order to keep all of the milk incorporated. What happens if you let your milk sit for too long, it will separate and the larger bubbles will float to the top, creating a very thick layer of foam that when you start pouring, it's just going to white out your entire cup. So keep your pitchers swirling up until the exact moment you're ready to pour, and the faster you can go from steaming to pouring, the absolute better. Another pro trick that helped me when I first started out, while swirling, also pouring out a little bit into just a sink or a side vessel before pouring, kind of helps eliminate that very dense foam that may exit your steaming pitcher when pouring at first. So just pour a little off the top, swirl again, and then pour into your vessel. Though eventually, you want to work up to the point where you don't need to do this anymore, though it was helpful for me when first starting out. The last major mistake we may be making is trying to create your design too early or too late in the whole process. A good rule of thumb to start is to fill your vessel to about the halfway mark before you actually start to try and create your design. So let's show you what that looks like. High and concentrated in the center, halfway, dip in, create your design. Lift up and bring your vessel back to the perpendicular position and you'll create a really nice design. So there you have it. There's the major five mistakes that I've noticed from my decade of barista experience. There are obviously a lot more, but this was just a nice little list to help you figure out what you may be doing wrong and improve your latte art game. So I hope I've helped you figure out one of the mistakes you may be making and how to better improve your latte art. Whether you're a business owner trying to wow your customers or a home user trying to take your espresso to the next level, our Latte Art Mastery course was designed specifically with you in mind. Try it for 30 days, and if you're not completely satisfied, it's totally free, no questions asked. Check it out on majestycoffee.com latte. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in class.